and uh, so she technically she flaked on me but now that she flaked on me I'm gonna have to find that appetite so guys my friend and I had a breakfast date planned for this morning and I had everything figured out I was gonna leave at like 9 a.m. so I could get there at about 11 so we could eat, chill, chat it up for a little bit and then um, I go to work. And then I texted her and I was like, so I'm planning to leave at 9. So I'll get there around 11 and she's like, um, it's supposed to snow today so we'll do it Friday after you leave work. Which is always good on a Friday evening and I actually don't like to like linger around and stuff like that when it snows because I just want to be out of there okay so she technically she flaked on me so now I have to realign my day and readjust my day but since I had already gotten up and like gotten everything done from early I can just go and lay down but I feel like the problem now is I'm gonna have to eat something to keep me until it's like lunchtime today and I had already programmed my brain that I'm gonna go eat something so I didn't have any appetite for anything that I had here. <laughs> but now that she flaked on me, I'm gonna have to find that appetite. I also need to um, pack my lunch so I can take that with me. Dwayne asked me if I wanted him to come get me later and I was like, no, because I leave early. I think I leave at 6.30 today. Normally when I leave early, I don't really stress him to come get me because you know, even if I do take the train, it's not. I'm not gonna get home too, too late. But he was like, since you don't like snow on your shoes and on your foot, because he knows that, like, I don't really like water on my toes and I don't like on my foot as well. It's a weird thing, but he knows. So he was like, should I come get you? But now I feel like I need to text him back and tell him, you know, yeah, why not? <laughs> because, and then if he does that, then I could probably um go to the grocery store because last night I went to the grocery store, but the one that we went to, Key Foods didn't really have everything that I wanted, so I feel like I'm still gonna have to go to the fine fair besides my job to get some additional stuff that I need, you know, some bits and bobs to complete what I have going on here. So I'm, I think I'm gonna let me get my phone and um, it's mad dark when these lights are off. So get my phone and um, maybe add. Um, yeah, I'm gonna maybe add some stuff. All I'm wearing right now is like my my undershirt and thermal, but I'm going to look around and see if there's anything that I need to add to um the grocery list that I have in my phone since I'm gonna go the grocery store. Mm. Last night I got some of the most important stuff, but in terms of like meat, I have chicken. So I added like a few small items to the pre-existing grocery list that I had. I got some stuff off of there last night, but I just added like a few little stuff. I need to tell Dwayne to buy water today because at his job, we get like a big case of water for cheaper. I don't know, probably because there's like a warehouse there or something. But then I have some small stuff that I need to get at the grocery store. So I added those to my list right now and um, yeah, that pretty much looks like it. So now I'm going to have to figure out some breakfast to make because I don't want to be out here hungry. Oh, I don't get no lunch time on this shift because it's so short. Maybe I shouldn't eat right now, but um, it's a good thing I'm checking. Wednesday. 
I do. It does say I have a lunch time on here. So I work from 1.30 to 6.30. five hours why would I get lunch time on a five hour shift anyways I don't know but I'm gonna eat so in case I don't get any I'm still good I work at 1 30 what time am I gonna leave 11 12 1 1 30 11 30 12 1 30 or sometime after 11 so so I still have some time to go because right now it is y'all seen that 8 49 so I do have a lot of time on my hands, so I'm about to go right now. Just coming from work and from the grocery store, and I feel like every week or every two weeks or every however often I go to the grocery store, every time I go, I try a new grocery store. The last one was um, Farnborough. That wasn't really new. We used that like years ago, but this time I tried Key Foods, and I feel like some of the stuff that I wanted, they didn't even have. So I didn't get all the stuff that was on my grocery list. So we're gonna have to go back. Not the door. We're going to park the car. And get the mail. I'm also researching a little console table for like right back there. So these can go on there. But um, yeah. I feel like every time we go, it's a new grocery store. And this time is really the first time I've ever been disappointed in terms of not getting some of the stuff that I actually wanted to get going to the grocery store. But um, it's not that serious. I could always just go somewhere else and get the rest of stuff. But you know, a girl likes to talk. <laughs> so even though it's not that serious, I'm still talking about it. Anyways. Dwayne came to pick me up, so I'm home a little bit earlier and I'm in a good mood because I'm home early. Normally when I take the train and I get home late, I'm so grumpy because I'm so mad that I have to take the train and stuff. I prefer to take the train and have a job than to sit here and not take the train but not have a job either. We don't do that, okay? Not in 2019. <laughs> um, I'm about to unpack the groceries and stuff like that and really just crash and maybe watch some TV since I'm home early.